Okay, this shell script tutorial uh, is uh, going to be showing you how to check if a directory exists. Um, and we're going to be going over what we did in the last few tutorials, checking uh, error codes, or I'm sorry, exit codes, and um, continuing whether something happens or not. So, basic way to check if a uh, directory exists is to give our brackets here, which is kind of like doing a basic if then statement. I can say dash D, this is checking, does this directory exist? And then in quotations, I'll say temp, which I do have a temp directory. I'll hit enter, we get no output, but there was an exit code. Once again, every program, every command that runs has an exit code, whether it exited successfully or unsuccessfully. So in this particular case, if the temp folder exists, it would have exited successfully, which, so, which should give us a zero. If it does not exist, we should get a one. So if I echo dollar sign question mark, it should give us the exit code of the last command ran. So I'll hit enter, and you can see that we got the output of zero. If I was to uh, hit up arrow twice, and then put in something like this, which I know that directory does not exist, and we say echo Dollar, or question mark, uh, dollar sign question mark, we should get a one this time because it does not exist. Now, you can always store that value and check it later on in your code if you're writing out an actual script. But just as we learned last time, we can continue a certain way uh, whether it exists or not. So let's go up, hitting up arrow a few times, going back in our history here. Uh, so we're going to check once again to see if the temp directory exists. Once again, we have our, our, our brackets here. Remember, there are spaces here and here. Without those, don't, the, this won't work properly. Dash D and another space. So that's checking, does this directory exist? And then whatever directory you put inside these quotations. And what we're going to say is ampersand, ampersand, the end symbol and end symbol. Um, and what that's going to do is, well, this next command I type will only run if that w last command was true. So I'm going to say echo the folder exists. Now if I hit enter, you can see we get the folder exists because the folder does exist. If I hit up arrow to go back to it again, and I do forward slash and a bunch of gibberish again, I know that folder does not exist, we get no output. So meaning that the folder does not exist. So we can run the same command again and do pipe pipe, which is basically like saying, well, then do this. If that's not true, then do this. We're going to say echo folder does not exist. And if I hit enter now, we get the, the output of folder does not exist. Now, um, just look at this again. We're checking, does this folder exist? Does this folder exist? Forward slash temp, forward slash that blah, blah, blah. And if that is true, so this is checking the error code of this. If it's zero, basically, then we're going to do this. Pipe, pipe means otherwise do this. So it's going to either do this or it's going to do this, whether this is true or not. And that's the basics of it, checking out whether um, the, their, this works or not. Now, in a lot of cases, maybe you have a lot more uh, you want to do uh, rather than just one command. Um, probably the easiest way to do that is to do a traditional if-then statement, uh, which we can do. Um, so let's actually just do that. I'm going to go vim. I'll just call this um, myder.sh. So Vim is my text editor. You can use whatever text editor you like as long as it's a text editor and not a word processor. That's a personal choice. Uh, and then I'm going to start with my shebang line here. Let's make that a little bit bigger so you can see. So pound, exclamation mark, forward slash bin, forward slash bash. In this case, because I'm writing a bash script, although what we're going over uh, should be pretty similar in most shells, if not exactly the same. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say if... And basically the same thing as before, our brackets dash D, I'll say temp, forward slash temp. Well, if that, then this, else this, and close our if then statement. So um, if that is true, so then we're going to do this, echo 
the directory exists, oh, echo, um, no comma, it does not exist. So this is basically doing the same thing we did before. It's checking if this directory exists, then we're going to do this. If that's not true, well, the only other option is to do this. And then we close our if then statement. So it's doing the same thing, but let's say you want it to do a bunch of different things. Um, in your script. This is probably a better route to go if you're not just doing a simple check this, check that. Because a lot of cases you'll probably do if this uh, exists, then continue. If not, either create it or exit out of your script. So let's save that. Make it executable with change mod plus x in the name of the script. Dot slash the name of the script. Enter the directory exists because my temp directory does exist. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Once again, I went over stuff I've gone over in previous tutorials, so be sure to go back and watch the previous tutorials. Um, they should be in a playlist uh, right before this video if you're watching in the playlist. Um, there might be an annotation for the playlist on the screen if I did not forget. Otherwise, you can go to filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. Go to the video section, and you can search for what we're looking for. Um, and we're working with exit codes. So if you type exit codes, two different words, you'll probably get all the videos I have on exit codes. So go ahead, check that out. Got lots of other videos there, more than you'll probably ever watch. So uh, check them out. If you watch them all, that's great. I appreciate it. Uh, I hope you enjoy them, and I hope that you have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.